Hey, what's up guys? Clintus here with Bryce and Sierra, and we have a special package here, special delivery. Uh, they have a brand new Sphero out, the Spark Edition, uh, which the kids are super, I'm super excited to open these up because, what's up baby? Your baby's excited too, look at her. Uh, because it's a brand new Sphero to uh, go along with their uh, Spark program. So the kids are gonna, we're gonna unbox these, check them out, check out the new Spheros, and then the kids are actually gonna dive into Spark and actually um, build a program using Sphero. So, you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's do this. I'm gonna open this bad boy up right here, right now. Baby thing, it's a I know, all right, look at this. We got the new Sphero Spark Edition. These are brand new Spheros, check it out. They're like see-through. Oh. You can actually see the robotics inside. Look at that. Oh, it's like that. Yep, that's how it's spelled. That's pretty cool, cool, right? It's schools, parents, robots, kids. That's what Spark stands for. Check it out. The better one. It actually shows you all the all the contents of how a Sphero, what, what makes a Sphero a Sphero. Gosh. What's another one? Oh, there. There you go. <laughs> as soon as I look at it, I was like, oh. <laughs> Price went right to it. <laughs> as soon as I said, like, what will you create? So, in the box, we have the Sphero. We have the charger, and we have all the cables. Oh, even the charger is see-through. Even the charger is see-through. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And so, because the Sphero doesn't actually have any ports, there's no plate, nowhere to plug it in at, it actually charges, and this is so cool. This is actually very, very cool that you guys can see this. If you look, there's two copper rings. Mm -hmm. One on the charger, one on mm -hmm. the Sphero. Yes. When the two connect, that's how it charges. Um, I oh, figured I thought, I it's thought called inductive that, charging. I thought there was something that plugs into that. It does, yeah, this has something that plugs into it, but oh. the Sphero doesn't. It just sits on top and that's how it charges. It's called inductive charging. So if you look inside, you can, you can see the, uh, the motor and the gears and the different uh, like wheels inside that make the Sphero kind of move around and roll. And it's got some weight to it, so when this thing rolls, it definitely rolls around. And again, if you've seen our, our, our previous Sphero videos, uh, you know exactly what Sphero can do. So inside here, you have your quick start guide. Oh, you got a little notepad to write down some notes and whatnot. And it looks like we have a protractor. And, some, and three tabs, three little one, two, three cutouts. All right, so we've downloaded the Spark app on our iPads, and so now we're going to connect our Sphero to the iPad, and it, which does by Bluetooth. So uh, basically, once you have your Sphero, uh, you double tap it to wake it up, and it lights up. And so it's gonna have a sequence of colors, and this tells you which Sphero you're connecting to. It, it'll, it'll have a series of lights. So we have green, we have yellow, and then we have purple. So it's, sh or no, I'm, you know, it's gonna be, it's probably orange, I'm sorry. So it's gonna, it should be GOP, which is what we see, Sphero GOP. Oh, okay. So go ahead and click on that. It's gonna connect, and then it should turn white when we're connected. There it goes, connected. And now we're connected, the, the colors changed. So now we're going to go back, we'll go into this, the, the Spark app. And we have Bryce is connected here. So uh, we've got a copy of Introduction, so I assume this is an introduction program. Um, and then a bunch of sample programs. So we have uh, lights. Uh, auto drive, circle, spiraling growth, figure eight, triangle square, a bunch of sample programs. So, I don't know, let's, let's do like lights. Let's, we'll click on lights and see what happens here. So we got lights, and it looks like we have set color, set delay, and we can change the series of lights. And so let's, uh, what do you think, Sierra? This says, this, the first color says red, okay. and it's for a thousand milliseconds. Uh, what do you think, we should change that? Or maybe we should do rainbow, like red, orange, yellow, green, blue. All right, let's do that. So uh, I'll do it on the big one, you do it on that one, okay? okay. So the first one's red, right? Mm -hmm. So then the next color is what? Orange. orange. Then yellow. Orange. Do I press the check? Yep, yep, check mark when you're done. Check. All right, and then kind of scroll it up. Click on the second yellow one. Oh, I don't know. Like maybe fade from a color to a color? It says orange to red, red to green. All right, so the kids have uh, changed the sequence of, of the colors, so it should be like a rainbow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and hit run. You ready? Three, two, one. Okay, it's red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Boom. Cool. Red. 
Oh, oh. And then it goes into a fade. Then it looks it starts it's bright. Yeah, it's blinking. Brightening. Uh, blinking. Okay, that's it. Is it over? And it says, I'm gonna change my orange. Oh. It looks kind of looked. We do it again, ready? Boom. Red, orange, yellow, green. Red, orange, blue. yellow, green, blue, purple. And does the fade? And the fades were. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Oh. I'm gonna do. Simple enough. Simple enough. All right. So Sierra changed her fade colors at the end. So she still do the rainbow. But then there should be some different colors at the end. Go for it. So I'll fade to different colors and then I'll do blinking of one color. That's my red, orange, yellow, green, green blue, blue, purple, purple. Green to blue, blue to purple, and then my blinking was green. Awesome. Creating programs or modifying pre-existing ones is super simple. As you can see here, Bryce is just dragging and dropping the different actions he wants to take in the order that he wants them to take. Once you have the actions placed, you can click on the little bubbles to adjust the different settings of those actions. So there's various different apps to use with your Spiro. Uh, the Spark app was the one we were just using, and that is a drag and drop C-based uh, block programming. There's the Macro Lab, which is programming with visual macros. And then there's the or basic, which is text programming in a basic language. So different apps for different types of programming styles uh, at, at different levels, uh, depending on your, your level of learning and, and your level of programming. And there's a whole bunch of different lessons that you can, you can actually do on the Sphero's website. It, I believe it's Sphero.com slash education. You can use all the original Sphero apps and games with your Sphero Spark. The Rolling Dead is probably our favorite. It's basically a zombie game. Zombies are trying to attack your Sphero and it actually uses the camera on your device to drive the Sphero around and you can shoot like fireballs at the zombies and stuff. It's pretty awesome. Of course, you can use the original Sphero app to just drive it around, play some games, do some races with some friends, and of course, some sweet, sweet dance moves. Disco dance, disco dance, yeah! I love the clear Sphero spark. You can see the lights much, much clearer, and it just it's so much brighter, so much more vivid. It just makes, makes a good time driving the Spheros around for sure. Big shout out to Orbotics for sending us these Sphero Spark Editions. Uh, we're big fans. I have a Sphero. We've got a couple Ollies. Now we have these Spark Editions here. And like I said, the kids are super excited to uh, continue the learning and see what all the different things they can do uh, with uh, the different programming languages. Yep. I'll have links down in the description below uh, for the website as well as information on how you can get your own Sphero uh, Spark Edition. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.